It increases every year. Uh, it's not just for our community, it's other communities that come and uh, they came all the way from Windsor and Barrie and places like that because the atmosphere is so good. We've grown into a new facility that uh, is really comfortable and uh, Conestoga Powell is kind of sets the Powell dancers on their summer trail. What we've been trying to do uh, over the last year, eight years is really build a stronger relationship with the Indigenous community and uh, also, um, you know, we would like to get more Indigenous students involved in post-secondary. So I think this helps build the relationship. Uh, certainly there's a good feeling in this room. Powwows are pretty, um, I don't want to say typical, but you know, they're, they're fun, uh, social gathering for everybody. I've been looking around, we've got a lot of championship dancers here today. Uh, there's some great singing groups, so uh, I imagine it's going to be a great time. Every year, Conestoga College opens up its doors to all nations and relations and invites everybody in to come celebrate with us at our annual traditional powwow. Our powwow is a very special time of year. Students get to recharge their batteries, they get to come together in celebration, connect with the community, practice our traditions and our teachings, all together as one. So um, here in, in our, our region, here in Kitchener, uh, Waterloo and Cambridge, we have a strong indigenous population, a large population, and we want to ensure that we have organizations such as Conestoga College, post-secondary institution, uh, working closely with our Aboriginal community. Um, we have a long, rich history of our uh, ancestors that have lived on this uh, on land for ver many, many generations and we want to continue the ties here as our population continues to grow and thrive. What was told to me was that the drums was given to us by the women and it was at a time of um, a lot of uh, war and different bad things were happening so the women came gave the drum to the men the men took it up and uh, decided to carry on that heartbeat it is said that the women carry the heartbeat for nine months so being that the drum is considered the heartbeat of our nation uh, our men now carry that carry that on so the women carry it for the nine months but the men then carry the heartbeat on after that and so we've got i believe five maybe six different northern style drums the northerns are going to be singing in a higher octave 
they said that um, that was very similar to the grandmothers and how the grandmothers taught the, the men how to sing. So if you can imagine a bunch of grandmothers singing, the men tried to emulate that in honor of those grandmothers. And so we got a lot of those guys singing, like I said, their northern style. Uh, they'll be here. It'll be really, really loud at some points. <laughs> We got um, all of the categories represented here. We have the uh, traditional, and that goes men's and women's traditional. We have men's and women's fancy. There's a fancy dancer getting ready right behind us. Uh, there's also uh, jingle dress dancers, grass dancers. Uh, the traditional dancers in the old days, they would have referred to them as a war dance. Uh, that's a storytelling dance, and that's what evolved into our modern fancy dance. And so we've got all of these represented. We've also got some hoop dancers. I see a lot of hoops around. Uh, we've also got the, the brand new teen division world champion hoop dancer. He's here today. He literally just won his title about two weeks ago down in Phoenix, Arizona. So he's here getting ready. It's going to be fantastic. I think everybody's going to enjoy it.
tap you out. This is a great time. This is the powwow that basically kicks it off around here in the Kitchener-Waterloo area. We get people coming from all over, not just Ontario, but we get them from New York State, Michigan. Everybody comes into this powwow to kind of kick it off because we've all been sitting around all winter beating and sewing and working on our songs and whatnot. Some of us have been hibernating, like myself. <laughs> but this is a great powwow, a great social event for everybody to come together and to basically feel united as a people and celebrate our culture, language, our heritage, and our spirituality. Well, I think, you know, if you've never been to a powwow before and uh, Truth and Reconciliation Commission is a word people are saying, this is a good chance for you to come and uh, see what Native people do and have a good time. Uh, special thanks to our sponsor, Toyota Motor Manufacturing Canada. Without Toyota, this event would not be possible. Uh, we have a very good partnership with Toyota and we have a common goal, uh, which is Aboriginal student success. And every year we come together to uh, make that goal a reality with our annual traditional power. Thank you, Toyota. Thank you.